out here in New Zealand and we found our first piece of surface gold. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Polly. So we just got here. This will be our base camp for the next eight days. The guys are just getting comfortable, getting all their stuff set up and I'll have to set up my tent here shortly. Oh, this is a beautiful space. We got a fire pit to uh, warm our feet and our wetsuits. We got a fridge there. Here's Rexy Pants getting ready for the, the night of our lives. No one wants that. A big bed for Rex and Darren to share. No one wants that. So here's my tent all set up. And this is the main suite. I really don't want to pump up my bed right now. I'm too, I'm too tired. But I might go up there and hang upside down for the night because, you know, vampire stuff. I don't really know where I'm going, but they said that there's some bedrock up ahead, so. La, 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 la. Okay, so I just did my very first test pan. I went up into that corner there. And look what we found. That's not bad at all. That's actually a lot of colors for our first pan. Let's do a few more and see if it gets better. But before we do more pans, I noticed over 80% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you like these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Normally, normally, normally when I test a new spot out, the first place I'll go is the moss. Now, I don't mind the moss. I just use a little bit just to see what's in there because moss acts like a really good gold trap. So my first pan, I did some moss and some of this dirt um, on this it's either hard pack or bedrock, I can't tell quite yet. And we found that much gold, so hopefully on this next one there'll be better go. So using my scoop, hands, and shovel, I remove material like I've never removed before. I haven't done a gold panning video in a long time, but in order to do well while sniping, you must know where the gold is first. I don't care about being too careful, I'm kind of just testing, and any gold I lose will dredge out anyway. Moment of tooth. There's black sand, that's a good sign that there's black sand around. Alright, we have maybe 10 colors, there's a lot of tiny guys in there. One nicer little bit, but I think we should continue. So I just did another pan, obviously off camera. I dug right into here, collected a little bit more moss, and this is what we found. So this is definitely a good pan, but from what they were telling me, this is uh, just enough to dump back in the river, so I'm gonna suck it up anyways. And then I'm gonna save this spot, and I actually will head up upstream a little bit. So Rex decided to walk up here and check up on me, and he saw where I was, <laughs> and then he laughed. So now I'm following him to uh, apparently where there's gonna be even more gold. You reckon there'll be more gold up here there, mate? Well, yeah, we were actually, uh, with Chris and that, we had some great gold up in here, so. But this spot here, I really wanted to have a look at, we didn't get time. There's these nice big rocks this year. Yeah. And they're nice and, they're actually really packed in there, so I wouldn't mind just scraping up underneath them on a bedrock and just seeing what's there. So both Rex and Darren acquired this massive claim because of the dredging potential. What turned them onto this river wasn't because of the size of gold, but the amount of fine gold there was. <laughs> Oops, the water's wet. We found a cute little crevice down in there. So there should be about 12 pounds of gold, no problem. I highly recommend wetsuit boots for the river. Obviously these ones are a bit damaged, but uh, they work really well. I can't believe how nice this river is. This whole area reminds me of Vancouver Island, but just a little bit more tropical and no bears or cougars, which is super nice to know. I get tired of looking over my shoulder all the time. So this spot, in the gold pan. We see some colors showing up at the corner. You're pretty good at this there, Rex. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few years of it. All right, there it is. There's still a lot of gold in there. I'm actually pretty surprised. Oh, dude, we can do a lot better than that, mate. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd suck that up anyway. <laughs> if you want to. Rex is giggling that I want to suck this up. I'm actually kind of interested to see how much gold is in the spots that he wants to take me to. Alright, so we've got the Vogatron 4001 that Chris was uh, nice enough to leave it with us. <laughs> yeah, we're so going to use it. This spot's actually really, really high out of the river, so I'm not holding my hopes high for a lot of gold, but you know, it'd be nice to get a bit more than what we did in that first pan, so we'll just suck off this bedrock and see what we can find. So this here actually doesn't look like a too bad a spot to work. It's some nice bedrock, and it actually goes down quite deep. There's a real nice dip in here. And it doesn't look like 
Chris came up here and touched this spot, so we could be in for a good little pain here. There better be at least 20 ounces in here or I'm, or I quit and I'm gonna go home. A good spot for flood gold to catch. And that's basically all we're going for in this claim is it's a lot of flood gold. We haven't got so much the nuggets like we did on our Nuggety Creek. There is nuggets in here, but probably not down this end of the claim. A lot of this is fine gold, but there's just tons of it, so. <laughs> so I just brushed some water up here and I can already see some visible gold. <laughs> That's a real good sign that there's gold around. So all you gold panning professionals out there, we are not so worried about losing a little bit of gold because like I said before, uh, we are only testing and any gold that we lose, we will be dredging out anyway. Ah. I'll get it. So I haven't properly panned it and panned all this gold down, but as you can see, we're getting a really nice <laughs> bead. Wow. of gold right across this back edge. And when I'm starting to see gold like that in this river, I know it's gonna be a really good pan. That is awesome, look at that. Another piece of visible gold. Ah, I love that so much. I just wanna see if we can find any more sticking out. Oh, there's a couple, there's a little handful right there. Haha, <laughs> sweet. We're getting closer. I know this is gonna be a good pan. <laughs> Moment of tooth. Hurry up! Oh yes, good pan. Wow, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's pretty good. Not too bad at all. Now that there, that's still not some of the better pans we've had, but for that little spot, I'm pretty happy with that. You know what they say, the more gold you find, the heavier you find gold will... F what? Oh yeah, mm, get all the little bits. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is bring the two inch dredge here and I'm just gonna dredge all of this out. I just bit my tongue. I'm gonna dredge all of this out tomorrow with the two inch dredge and, <laughs> and I know we're gonna do really good with the two inch. And I know we're gonna do really good with the two inch so stay tuned for that video. Here's the gold that we found so far. It's not worth weighing unfortunately but still pretty good. I'm gonna come back here first thing tomorrow morning and dredge this whole thing out so stay tuned for the next video. I know this video was short, but I couldn't make it any longer. Stay tuned for the next one to see what we can find with a dredge.